let's see if we can figure out what the brain is doing. Alzheimer's, it, yeah, yeah, let yeah. me try to do a little bit about Alzheimer's. So I said cholesterol and sulfate deficiency, right. and uh, both of them are really important. Cholesterol in the membranes of the cells uh, protects the cells from ion leaks. And, um, and if you don't have enough cholesterol, then the ions start leaking across the membrane. You have to use up all your energy pumping the ions to the other side. So the cells become energy deprived. Um, the sulfate uh, is important. Both the cholesterol is also very, very important in synaptic transport. It, it plays a critical role in the actual message that goes across from one cell to the other. And um, so uh, Alzheimer's is associated with a, uh, a, a low ratio of something called sulfatide to ceramide. And sulfatide is the thing that contains the sulfate and the ceramide does not. So that's an indicated, indicator that they're lacking in the sulfate. And, um, and I mentioned these heparin sulfate proteoglycans that um, the deficiency in the mice that causes them to have aut autism. Right. And um, so, the, uh, so the, ener the, uh, the, the cells in the brain become energy deficient and then they start getting in really big trouble and they start dying. So the, the, um, it's, a really, it's a metabolism problem. There's also a glucose um, deficiency, there's a type three diabetes, that's the brain mm -hmm. unable to utilize glucose. And I think that that also ties directly to the sulfate because the sulfate provides an opportunity to store the glucose outside the cell in these extracellular matrix proteins. Otherwise, you can't do that because it's not safe. The glucose is very toxic, actually. Glucose causes glycation damage to anything that comes in its So if way. you can't store the glucose outside the cell, glucose is part of the sugar for yes. the energy. The energy. And you so you're burning have... your energy and you don't have enough fuel. Yeah, to so, use. so because of the ions are getting away and they're saying, you know, send in the troops, grab the ions, and they go around and they use all their energy to do that, so they're exhausted. Yeah. And they say, okay, give us more energy because of the glucose, we can't store that either. Yeah. And then they try and get the signaling going, but the signaling is impaired because of the lack of sulfur. The, uh, cl cholesterol. Uh, yeah, cholesterol. Oh, and also sulfur, I suspect, but okay, I haven't gotten that okay, one quite so figured out yet. Right. But cholesterol is what, with the signal transport, and cholesterol is also what keeps the, um, the, the membrane tight so the ions don't leak. All right. And then also cholesterol is involved in the lipid rafts where the glucose comes in. So when you don't have enough cholesterol, you have a deficiency in the number of lipid, lipid rafts, which reduces your ability to get the glucose in, which is um, probably tied directly to the sulfate because you can't store the glucose. So you sort of have, tired, to, have to cut it back. Tired brain cells, unable to communicate with each other. I can't see that problem that relates to Alzheimer's. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so. so all right, all right. So you've convinced me that, that I mean, without looking at the peer-reviewed published studies and without re seeing the correlation for each of these things, I assume you've, you've, you've done that, you have a paper on it. Mm. Um, it's, it may be that there's this matrix of things that are all glyphosate related. Mm -hmm. It'd be very interesting to see if we took glyphosate out of the diet, right. would there be a change in mental acuity for the patients suffering I think from so. these? It's the first thing I would do if I, had, if I were diagnosed with Alzheimer's, I mean, I would already do it, but I would get rid of everything. Mm -hmm. Related to glyphosate. Yeah.